Right, quick video to show the second paint job that we're doing on this Lupo. First one was using original paint. Now we've done original rusty paint and then we uh, highlighted some areas with cream and kind of done a forced, obvious patina blatantly just to show um, that it was a paint job rather than kind of it looking um, like it had actually weathered through. This time we're just going to go over with our newer paint which is the real rust. Uh, we're going to just cover the whole car in it. Not going to do any highlighted areas, just going to paint over the car and activate it. And DA'd the old paint off with 80 grit sandpaper. As you will see, um, it's like very high with the anti corrosion properties, so you'll see that I've not had to go back to bare metal. There's no rust kind of anywhere on any of the metal work. I mean, this bit down there I've left, that's just plastic trim anyway on this. Um, doesn't need to be perfect. Again, this probably shows a good example for people painting like the old Beatles and T4s and stuff where you're never going to get perfect. Um, so we're going to paint straight over the top of this and you'll see we've got exposed filler uh, where there was some bad prep work done by the previous owner um, underneath the, the silver paint it was painted in. We're going to leave kind of these bits which just old bits of rust, bits of just kind of tat and stuff just to show that it can go over everything pretty much. Right, as you can see, the paint's uh, gone on, still currently drying. Uh, I've come down this side of the car, worked its way around the bonnet, uh, and back up this way, which is why obviously one side's kind of dry, the other isn't. So what we're going to do now is just leave this overnight to fully cure. Um, as I explained on some of the previous videos and on the instructions, it is touch dry fairly quickly. That will dry very quickly, but before sanding you kind of need to leave it a good good few hours so we're going to come back to this tomorrow morning right the paint's had all evening to cure we've come back to it in the morning um, and it's ready to kind of crack on with the sanding uh, it was touch dry in about 40 minutes but obviously to start sanding it we need the, all of the paint to be fully cured all the way through so overnight is probably the best thing to do just leave it um, we're just going to use I'm going to do the quick method which is just some cheap 120 grit discs and some scotch bright pads these are available in like different colours and stuff for different kind of textures just get the most coarse one that you can um, it's just going to be a case you'll probably be able to see where I've started sanding it um, and where I haven't it's just a case of going over the 120 flatten it out and then you'll see it's starting to flat here, uh, it's, I mean it's not brilliant, it needs going over properly, but kind of this just this line here is alright. And then it's a case of once you get something like that, just rubbing it over with a scotch pad. Um, and then that should bring up a nice sheen once it's degreased. You'll see it's kind of nice and flat here. Um, that's kind of what I'm going to do for the whole car. I'll come back to it when it's ready for activation. I'm going to obviously put the lights back in, stick the emblems back on the car and stuff before uh, activating. Right, it's time to activate the paint. Uh, we've sanded it. Scotch bright uh, pad over the top, and we're kind of like this. It's got a bit of texture in this one. We normally say to kind of smooth it as flat as possible, but I'm just going to try and keep a bit of the base colour on this one. So I'm going to attempt to see what it looks like with um, kind of a few bits missed, as you can see. So I'm kind of hoping it will contrast against kind of the, the rust come out pretty well. So all you need to do when you're ready to activate is obviously clean the panels. As best as possible, thoroughly clean and degrease, and then you use your activator. Um, the activator is just basically some powder in the bottom. You need to just use some cold water, put it in, do exactly what it says on the front, shake it, and then just go round like this, spraying your clean paintwork. Now, the process won't be very exciting. Um, when you start off like the first kind of coat won't really do much you just go around continuously applying um, more and more coats so like the first one leave it to dry and um, once it's kind of dried off come back to it and the whole process realistically to rust a car of this size um, you should be able to do it within an hour uh, depending on obviously the heat conditions it's it's pretty freezing at the minute nearly swore apologies um, so it might take a little longer on this one you might be able to see I can see by eye um, it's not completely silver now it's starting to uh, do a bit of rust kind of weird color on it but what I'll do is I'll cut the video here and I'll come back to it in a minute once I've uh, applied the coat because we go around with a small bottle and keep filling this up it's going to take uh, take a little while so 
I'll uh, video it as soon as the first coat's kind of drying off. Right, it's the first coat on of uh, Activator. I've just gone around the whole thing. As you can see, I started at the back. Um, and you may be able to now pick it up that it's starting to rust. Uh, hopefully you can see on the video. Um, but yeah, like I said, the first coat isn't very exciting. It's just a case of kind of eating into it and starting to activate. It doesn't help with the weather. Obviously you can probably see outside it's cold, wet and raining. So with the damp being in the air, it kind of slows down this drying process because basically what we need to do is let it dry, uh, dry out completely before adding um, additional layers of activator. I mean, as you as you can probably see, it's starting to go already, but it's just going to slow the process down. Um, on a hot, nice summer's day, it'd be ideal. I mean, it'll still work. It's just a case of it's probably going to take a little while. Uh, but as you can see, where I started at the back is starting to rust. I only just got round to the front to, to put the activator on it. So as you can see, it's probably uh, starting to go, but hasn't gone as of yet. And as I get back down to the back again, you can see the difference. So what I'm going to do is have a coffee and let it dry, and then I'll come back to it and add the second coat of activator. Right, you should see this is the uh, second coat of activator just put on. You should see it's changed colour considerably since the last video. Um, it's no longer really silver. You should probably tell. It's got much more of a rust kind of colour to the paint. Um, at the moment, obviously, we're still in early activation stage, so it's just literally put the second coat over. But you should notice now that it's starting to rust. What we need to do is uh, leave the second coat to dry, probably come back, give it a third coat, and uh, see how we are then. So, next video will be the third coat. Which is basically once this coat's dry, then we've literally applied a third coat. Right, third coat of activator has been put on. As you can see it's starting to dry in places. Um, I'm kind of happy with how it's rusted at the minute. So to be honest with you, I'm just going to leave it and let it weather because obviously a few weeks it would have weathered nicely. It's kind of hard to pick up. The contrasting colours in the video. However, it gives you an idea of what it kind of should look like. See, like I say, still wet in places. Um, so it's just a case of rinsing it over and getting rid of all this now. So just throw a load of uh, cold water over your car project, whatnot, and you're pretty much done. All right, an hour after activating it, let's have three coats of activator. Hopefully you should be able to see it's not uh, like a grey anymore. It's just a real rough product, painted straight over, uh, onto the car. Um, normally I'd layer a colour up over the top or something to make it look more of a patina. But with this one it was just a case of just throwing a bit of, a bit of paint on it. See, I mean, how happy how it is at the minute. It will obviously weather um, after a few weeks, but I've been on there for an hour. It's not doing too bad. Uh, as normal rust, it's uh, unpredictable with different tones and colours. Hopefully, you can pick that out in the video. Uh, but that's it.